we meet true seekers, we become a true seeker ourselves. We, we can see that Buddha was teaching something that was non different from Jesus. He may have been starting from a different point, talking to different people in a different social circumstance, but he was giving the same message. And that message was to, to live well and, and, and be kind to yourself before you can be kind to others. Jesus gave the same message and Krishna teaches the same in the Bhagavad Gita, the scripture we follow. If we want, you know, quality, real equality, you know, we have to look to a spiritual dynamic. We have to take it to a spiritual level. None of us are equal on any material level. Not one of us. None of us. Not even if you've got a twin brother or sister. We're not the same as you in any way. You know, so, so many differences. We're all so very individual. So equality is a very spiritual, uh, philosophical understanding. You know, so, so only as spirits can we be equal, only when we get to that level of understanding of spiritual nature. God, he's given plenty of facility, he gives regular visitors to the planet, you know, we've had Lord Chaitanya not long ago, we've had Buddha not long ago, we've had Jesus on the planet not long ago, and all these teachings remain with us, but we have to pull them out of the institution. We have to find what these seekers were actually saying to us and what they were actually directing us. Uh, and when you pull them out of the institution and the, the micromanagement of the institution that's trying to manipulate people to support their cause or put bombs on their seats or pay for their new roof. In a relationship with God and you take responsibility for your own life and your own self-development uh, and your own communities then life will become good, God assures us of that. But while we don't take responsibility for our own lives, our own well-being, we don't make better life choices, life won't get better. You know, there's no it's not it's not a magic thing, you know, it's not a magic wand thing. It's, it's you make better life choices, life gets better, and God suggests that. And when your life gets better, and you start to be more peaceful within your own life, you'll start to look at your spiritual dynamic. That's what will happen. There's no ifs and buts. You know, you, you make better life choices, your life will get better, and you will start to be a bit more grateful for what you have. You know, a little bit less judgmental and appreciate those around about you and the beauty of nature and the arrangements that are made. And the beauty of taking responsibility. And we can also then look out the window and realise that the world's in the state it is because not enough of us take responsibility, personally or communally.